Big Menace Entertainment. We do it B.I.G. Bonky. Lazy man. I know way too many people here right now that I didn't know last year. Who the fuck are y'all? What's up? It's your boy Bamboo the Iceberg Man, a.k.a. Lucky Lucci, a.k.a. Ask your baby mama about me. I'm originally from Chandler, Oklahoma, where my family is, but growing up I always went back and forth between Chandler and the Oklahoma City, so I'm a little country, a little rock and roll. I say realizing that I wanted to do it first was uh, I really didn't want to rap. Uh, I had a homeboy named Duo and uh, another one named Solo Ace, also known as the Joker. That uh, they was rapping and they was battling and stuff in the schools and and you know they started making a name for themselves. But me being a businessman that I am. I hooked up with this cat named Dusty that introduced me to um, Kurt Dog and a and a dude named uh, Pac-Man. And uh, I went to them because I was trying to be like a manager. I wanted to be behind the scenes of them, try to, you know, take them farther. But, you know, Duo ended up signing to, um, to uh, Culture Shot Camp. Solo ended up stopped rapping, you know, got a family going on. So I decided to go ahead and rap myself. So. Yes, that's when it started, I was like 16 or so. You talk about artists influencing me, like I said, I'm on both sides of the business. So if you talking about like the business side, I'ma say the artist influenced me in my business ways is gonna be Kurt Dog. Cause he uh he showed me like the the way to format songs and the technical side of the whole music game. And I'ma say Chris McCain, cause he, I watching him, I learned a lot about the marketing and what you do to get yourself out and all that. So I took, you know, being with them and that influenced me on the way I handle my business. But when you talk about my rapping, like I think the greatest rapper is Jay-Z. You know what I'm saying? Cause I like how he cocky and arrogant, you know what I'm saying? And uh, secondly, I like um, uh, E-40 cause his unorthodox style, the way he do his thing and then uh, there's uh, Busta Rhymes, and I just love the way, you know, he performed. Like, I, I try to mimic the energy that he do when he performed with Split Star and stuff. And, uh, I mean, basically, like, how do you say, I like partying. So I try to do party music, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I like people, when people listen to my music, they, they have to get a good feeling. You know, like back in the day when you used to uh, watch the movies and when it was over, you had that feeling. That's what I try to do with my music. And I try to entertain, so whatever I gotta do to entertain. Well, I'm still at the beginning of both sides of my career. You know, I'm starting up the, the label. It's starting to be pretty good. We're getting a name for ourselves. Uh, my rapping, you know what I'm saying? I'm still at the beginning, but I think I'm moving along pretty fast. You know what I'm saying? If you ask me, you know what I mean? But uh, I'm still at the beginning. I got a lot to learn. My second album, which is The re Reset, <laughs> and uh, I'm for the drop. I already halfway done with my second mixtape, which is gonna be Iceberg Man. And then I'm gonna be working on uh, my next album, which is gonna be my turn. So, you know, I got a lot of things I'm working on and then I got all my other artists, you know, uh, working with them. And then I'm on a lot of features with a lot of Oklahoma rappers. So I got a lot on my plate. First, I want to give a shout out to the Lord because he blessed me with the, the mind and the talent to do the things that I'm doing. And I want to give a shout out to my daughter, Michelle. You know, just like the tattoo on my arm. I, this, she's the reason, the reason I do what I do. Um, a shout out to my family, you know, uh, all my fans that's, you know, been uh, supporting me, uh, my team. My team is supreme, you know what I'm saying? And um, let me think, I don't want to be nobody 
because people are going to be looking at this. If I forgot you, I'm sorry. Uh, shout out to all the people who told me I can't do what I'm doing, and I'm doing it. It's, it's beautiful, you know what I'm saying? I feel good with what I'm doing.